Hey guys, self-employment can be pretty challenging as it is without trying to balance life in lockdown, sometimes homeschooling and working from home um, together with just trying to generally survive a global pandemic. Um, the guys at Rock the Cotswolds have invited me on to share some simple tips with you to survive self-employment in lockdown. I'm Sarah Townsend and I've spent the past 20 years as a freelance marketing copywriter and I've now written a book, Survival Skills for Freelancers, which is aimed at helping you survive the highs and lows of freelance life and to ace self-employment without burnout. So, tip number one, let's start with a nice one. Instead of sitting in front of your screen, wondering why inspiration isn't striking and struggling to get anything done, make sure you take breaks in your day and at least once a day, do something that's going to hit the reset button for you. So whether that is going outside, having a walk, getting out in nature, getting some fresh air and exercise, you might want to take the kids out for a long walk, hop on your bike or go for a run. Whatever it is that hits your reset button and gets you back to work, feeling more productive and ready to go. Tip number two, keep your work and your home zones as separate as you possibly can. We're not all lucky enough to have separate work offices or workspaces within our homes. And particularly if you don't, try to designate an area where your work lives and try not to let that blur into your personal and family space for the sake of your relationships. Um, try to also uh, introduce a complete ban on working on the sofa and working in bed. That's sort of the golden rule. Um, and introducing those boundaries can help you um, maintain a better work-life balance, which is something that's really hard for us all right now. And the third and final tip, it's to do with being kind to yourself. At the moment, we're all feeling the tendency to beat ourselves up because we're not achieving what we would on a normal day, but it's impossible to do that. You're not the only person feeling that way and um, just be kind to yourself over it. So a really good way to keep positive is to um, celebrate your wins on a daily basis, however small those things may be. So what I would recommend is at the end of every day, finish off with listing three small wins that you've made tiny achievements during the day, whether that is getting a nice email from a client, getting a job signed off, making a nice new connection on LinkedIn, or even just crossing something off your to-do list. Just make sure that you take the time to acknowledge and celebrate those wins, whether you wanna discuss them with your family or write them in a journal, whatever works for you. So those are my three small tips for surviving self-employment in lockdown. Thanks to Rock the Cotswolds for having me on today and let me know how you get on with your tips. Good luck. Bye for now.